Hello friends, we are going to talk about irrational numbers in this session. So let's start with the definition of irrational numbers. Any number is said to be an irrational number if it cannot be written in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. So if we see this is just the the definition of irrational numbers is just the opposite of the definition of rational numbers which says any number which can be written in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 is a rational number. So all the real numbers which are not rational numbers are irrational numbers. So irrational number will be of the following forms will be one of the following forms. So any number which is non-terminating, non-recurring decimal number of the type 1.1101001001001 and so on. So this we say that it does it is a non-terminating and non-recurring decimal number. So this cannot be represented in the form of p by q. So we cannot write it in this form. So that means this is an irrational number. Then we have non-perfect square roots and cube roots etc. of the type square root of 5, cube root of 9 and nth roots of the numbers which do not result in a rational number. So these are called, these are another form of irrational number. And then some mathematical constants like pi, e, etc. are also irrational numbers. So friends, now, uh, now let's understand irrational numbers as a subset of real numbers. So irrational numbers are basically real numbers minus the rational numbers. So all the numbers which are not rational but they are real are irrational numbers. So we look at, at it diagrammatically. So if we are saying this complete thing is depicting, this complete figure is depicting the real numbers, then as we've discussed in uh, the rational numbers that we have natural numbers as a part of real numbers, then if we include zero into it, we get whole numbers. Then we include the negative numbers along with it we get the integers and then if we take the numbers of the form p by q we get the rational numbers and rational each of them we are getting at a higher level so we are saying rational numbers is a superset of the integers whole numbers and natural numbers now if we look at the real numbers it is again a superset of the rational numbers so all the numbers in this superset real which are not rational are the irrational numbers. So the numbers which will be which will lie in this purple domain, these will be the irrational numbers. And there is no standard notation for the irrational numbers, but it is sometimes represented as Q bar. So Q being the rational numbers, sometimes we represent irrational numbers as Q bar. It is also represented by R backslash Q where this backslash means minus. So we are saying R minus Q. So this is essentially meaning R minus Q which is giving us the irrational numbers. So uh, friends now let's talk about the different properties of the irrational numbers. The first one is that negative of an irrational number is always irrational. Supposing we have root 3 as an irrational number. So we are saying minus root 3 which is just the negative of the irrational number. This is also irrational. Now the sum or difference of a rational number and an irrational number is always irrational. This is important. Now let's see how, why do we say that? Now let's assume that 
x is a is an irrational number and we have y as a rational number and we add the two to get z now if we assume this to be a rational number then we are saying x which is an this is we've assumed in the beginning x is an irrational number y we are taking as a rational number and z we assume it to be a rational so we are saying x becomes equal to z minus y now if this is rational if z is rational and y is rational by the property of rational numbers x has to be a rational number which is not true in this case so we are saying that this assumption that we started with in the beginning has proved to be incorrect which means that z has to be an irrational number it is not a rational number so same would be true if we take the difference of a rational and an irrational number now the product or quotient of a non zero rational number and an irrational number is always irrational so we can again start with the same thing so we take x y is equal to z where we assume z to be a rational we are taking x to be an irrational number and i am representing irrational by q bar here and we are saying q is a non zero rational number so now if we take this product and we say that z is also a rational number we we'll just see that x can be written as y z by y and by the property of the rational number if z and y are rational x has to be a rational number which is not true because we are saying we have, we've taken x to be an irrational number so this assumption again is incorrect so we are saying the product and similar would be the, the, the case with quotient so the product or quotient of a non zero rational number and an irrational number is always irrational so let's talk about some more properties of irrational number we are saying some difference product and quotient of two irrational numbers may or may not be rational so we'll take an example say for example we take an irrational number root 5 and we take another irrational number which is minus root 5 now if we add these two this comes out to be zero so if we take we take another example say for example we have 2 root 5 and we subtract 2 root 5 from this we again get 0 which is a rational number but on the other hand if we have root 5 plus root 3 we get an irrational number and here if we have 2 root 5 minus root 5 we get the result as root 5 which is also an irrational number so we can see that the sum and difference may be rational may be irrational similar would be the case with product and quotient say for example we take 2 root 3 and root 3 and if we take the product of these two we get 6 which is a rational number but if we say if we take 2 root 3 into root 5 now here the product becomes 2 root 15 which is an irrational number so anything is possible here similarly if we take a quotient in this case 2 root 3 divide by root 3 we get 2 which is an irrational number which is a rational number but if we say 2 root 3 divided by root 5 that comes out to be an irrational number so the sum difference product and quotient of two irrational numbers may be rational or irrational 
Now, the, another important thing here is that HCF and LCM of two irrational numbers does not exist. This is very, very important. It does not exist because the basic definition of HCF and LCM requires the given numbers to be written as the product of prime numbers. So any number for which any numbers that we have to use to find the LCM and HCF of, each of those numbers need to be written as a product of prime numbers. Now we know an irrational number cannot be written as a product of prime numbers. So their LCM and HCF does not exist. Friends, I hope you enjoyed the session. If you find it useful, please like it and share it with your friends. You can visit us at our Cool Smart Learning website and post your queries there. And please subscribe to the Cool Smart Learning channel for getting updates on the new sessions. Thank you.